And then also um, the sum of quarter two within Todd's table. So you can see there we have Todd's table and then within the brackets the um, totals and all the and the quarter two column of Todd's table. So you can see you can refer to different worksheets and it's not a problem or tables within different worksheets. Um, you can also refer to different workbooks if you refer to Another thing is, um, you know, when you refer to different cells here, I'm going to refer, refer to a cell that's not within a table. Um, I just want you to see this show formula. We're going to refer to that cell that was not within a table, but that uh, worksheet name had spaces in it. When the worksheet name has spaces, it's going to be the uh, worksheet name enclosed in single quotations then ex exclamation point, and then the cell address. And then of course, I could add another cell. But you just gotta remember, if you're referring to a different sheet, it's gonna be sheet name, exclamation point, cell address. If the sheet name has spaces, just make sure the sheet name is enclosed in single qu quotations, okay? And that's how you refer to a different sheet. It's much easier to just select it. Um, you can also refer to different workbooks. I think I have another one open. I'm going to refer to a random cell. <clears throat> and then I'll go back. Plus. Um, a cell within the worksheet. And you can see there I have um, inside single quotations and inside brackets first I have the file name of the uh, workbook it's a different workbook so daily budget enclosed in brackets and because there's spaces that's why we have the single quotations and then to to do so it's the workbook file enclosed in brackets then the sheet name and then the uh, exclamation and then of course when you re we refer to a uh, work sh a different workbook it always uses absolute cell reference so you can see that we refer to cell C6 within the to do worksheet of the of daily budget workbook plus cell D13 of uh, this worksheet in this workbook Okay, um, it's whenever you do this, if you were to close the workbook, this would change. And I'm, I'm going to show you Excel automatically updates it. I'm going to go ahead and close this other workbook. And now look, it shows the path on my computer to where that workbook is located. Now you can see it and it automatically updated it. All right, so I think I covered a good bit of detail on cell reference. Um, Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, rate, uh, be sure to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, all, every bit of um, interaction that I get from my viewers helps with my ranking within the search engines and YouTube and Google and ultimately increases my performance and views. And then that keeps me writing more and more of these tutorials for you guys. All right, thanks for watching.